Hey, is this thing on? Hm. Yoink! What's up, Pop Tarts? Welcome to the Pop Stop. I'm your host, Joey, and this is my co host, Bree Bree. Hey, guys. All right, today we are unboxing December's Marvel Collector Core, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, this is actually the fifth box that the Marvel Collector Core has come out with, and this is also the biggest box that they have come this out with. This is quite with. a big box, so I hope it there's is, it is. big items inside. Let's crack it open and check it out. So, just based off of the actual like little commercial spoilers thing that they came out with, um, it was Rocket and Groot around a Christmas tree, so we're expecting a lot of holiday themed stuff. So first up, just like all the other boxes, we do have the patch and pen. I actually really, really like this Rocket patch more so than the Groot. He's just really detailed. He really pops from the patch and he has that like mischievous look that we're used to seeing on Rocket. Now this is the more of the uh, comic book style Rocket. It's, it's a really cool patch. Yeah, the pin on the other hand, it's kind of dull and bland, but I mean, it's Groot, and you know, you can't really have Rocket without Groot. I can already tell this is gonna be a Rocket and Groot box. You don't mean All right, pop it open, let's see what's next. Okay, so next, oh, we have the comic book. And who's on the cover of the comic book? It's Rocket and Groot, okay, so it might be a Rocket and Groot box. But it is the Guardians of Infinity number one. Looks like it is a variant edition by some guy named Butcher. Um, it is kind of pop stylized, but it also kind of has this like illustration style and it's just super, super cute, guys. Now I actually have uh, the original version of Guardians of Affinity and this came out, I think, December 2nd. It was December 2nd, yeah. So which cover do you like better? I love this one. This one is adorable. And I like the fact that it's like Groot is the Christmas tree and Rocket's like decorating him because you know, he's always up to something and this time he's stringing him with lights and ornaments and all sorts of stuff. So are, I actually really like you're this. You're such a girl. What's next in the box? Okay, next in the box is, here you see something. All right, this next item here, I heard about it. It is the Guardians of the Galaxy scarf. Now the thing about this, we order two boxes because of the shirt size. I get a large and she gets a small. Hey, don't my shirt size. But now we have two scarves, and the fact that we live in Texas, we really don't want to wear scarves. I mean, it's December, and today it was like almost 80 degrees outside. Yeah, I think at nighttime right now, we're like in the 60s, so it's pretty much like kind of shorts and t-shirt weather. Um, but you know what? It is very heavy duty. Like, I feel like maybe if we lived in cold climate, it might be, you know, it might be good. I don't know. We don't really know a whole lot about scarves. Um, but it has Guardians of the Galaxy on one side, and it has all the different... Pop silhouettes. Silhouettes. So it's got Groot, Rocket, Star-Lord, Gamora, and Drax, and the same on this side. And then on the opposite side, it has, like, a cute little... Uh, rocket. It has a cute little Groot that is also, like, the potted group, kind of pop stylized. I mean, it was neat what they were trying to do. It's just, you know, we never wear a scarf. What's up, Deadbeats? You're checking out the Dead Stop. I'm your host, the Merc with the Mouth, the champion of the chimichangas, Deadpool. Yeah! And this is my co-host, Bang Bang. Look at the size of her bullets. All right, let's open this thing. Guardians of the Galaxy, I know these chumps. Their pet raccoon bit me when I watered their plant. He's lucky I didn't fertilize it. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Here's the patch. Oh, what a cute little kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. And the pen. Oh look, it's the tree I peed on. Next we have a comic book. Wait, I'm not in it? Oh, mine is much better. All right, all right, what's next in here? A mug of this turd blossom? Oh, what is this? Eco-friendly reusable toilet paper? Look, and this side's even been pre-wiped. Nice. Last but certainly least, we have more Rocket and Groot. Oh, this is awesome! Oh my god, and their ornaments? Wow, I needed more target practice. Well, I'm sure glad they sucked it up on this box because mine is gonna kick some booty! Now back to my favorite set of twins, Bree Bree! Did we just get hijacked by Deadpool? The nerve of that guy! I mean, just taking over our unboxing? <laughs> doesn't he know his box doesn't come out until February? Talk about jumping the gun. 
Mm, that boy. All right, well, we still are gonna show you the rest of the items, even though Deadpool showed you what's in here. So, Bri Bri, what's next? I'm actually excited about this because we don't have any of these yet, but it is the Star-Lord Guardians of the Galaxy, the mug from the Pop Home collection. So I think this guy is adorable. Um, I do think that they got a lot of really good detail in his sculpt. Uh, I haven't actually seen the Iron Man and the Captain America in stores, but I haven't bought them. I've just kind of like passed them up. So smart marketing efforts on their part because this, getting this guy might actually be like kind of the arm twist that I needed to actually go back and like start collecting the rest of them. I don't know, I guess time will tell. All right, now I like the fact that this is actually Star-Lord and not Rocket and Groot. I mean, I really like the way this looks. My only issue with it is the paint job could be a little bit better, but look, this is a huge mug. That is a lot of eggnog. Or hot chocolate. Oh yeah, I get a sugar eye. All right, what's next up so in the box? So the final thing in the box, it's empty. The final thing in the box is the Guardians of the Galaxy Bobblers vinyl bobbleheads, which is Groot and Rocket. All right, now these are actually pop ornaments. They are bobbleheads. They are smaller than a regular pop. So I understand that this pair goes really good together and they do look really cute together. Um, for starters, we have Groot. That looks kind of similar to the holiday dancing Groot. However, it is a completely different sculpt. His head is different. His hands are positioned differently. Um, the pot and bow is actually the inverse colors of the holiday Groot. So he is slightly different looking and he is, you know, quite a bit smaller than the normal one. Now the rocket is a completely different sculpt as well. You can definitely see that in his body. His body looks quite a bit different and his head is just a little bit more simple of a sculpt. Um, now he is wearing a cute little scarf and he is carrying a gun with a cute little bow on it, which actually kind of seems like that would be something Rocket would do for Christmas time. Now, I know uh, a lot of people are gonna be disappointed because they wanted an actual pop, but I also understand where the company was coming from, and this is a creative idea. I know in a past video I said, please, no more Rocket and Groot, and I still kind of agree, but I understand the Christmas theme. But the thing that got me is because they were saying it's the biggest box yet and the box is actually huge, people were speculating that the pop was gonna be like a, a six inch Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet or... Um, I was actually really hoping for a six inch Groot with the little rocket on his shoulder. Um, so that way we could have the rocket and potted Groot and then the big Groot and little rocket, but... I think the other speculation was uh, Star-Lord with his headphones on, which is mm -hmm. what I kind of was hoping for. I mean, uh, it is kind of a little bit disappointing because no shirt, no actual pop, but it is a very creative box. I will give them marks for that. I do think though that they did manage to package them really cute. This little box is just decked out in holiday theme. All right, to recap this box, we have the Groot pin, the rocket patch, the Star-Lord mug, the comic book, the scarf, and the rocket and potted Groot pop ornaments. So overall, I think they did a really good job with like keeping the holiday theme throughout, you know, the items in this box. Um, I do feel like this box is going to be very controversial. I feel like some people are really going to love the items and some people are going to really be disappointed with this box. So what do you think? You know, do you like it? Did you get it? You know, are you happy with the items? Not? Please feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Well, that is the end of our unboxing of the December Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Collector Core. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up uh, and please subscribe to our YouTube page. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and you can like us on Facebook. We'll put all those links down below. Well, that's it for now. Keep it popping, people.